to have a final vote on the bill by the end of the week. You're watching C-SPAN 2.
Senate leaders continue to work out an agreement on the small business bill off the Senate floor, but Congressional Quarterly is still reporting that Senate leaders may allow a vote today on a standalone bill to repeal a reviled tax reporting provision in the health care law. Members of both parties have sought to repeal the position that the provision that aims to reduce tax fraud by requiring businesses and real estate owners to file a 1099 form with the IRS for every vendor to whom they pay more than $600 a year. A business groups say the provision will bury them in paperwork and organizations like the Chamber of Commerce and the National Federation of Independent Business have lobbied hard for the repeal that in Congressional Quarterly. Defense Secretary Robert Gates and Joint Chiefs Chairman Mike Mullen spent the day on Capitol Hill today uh, testifying about U.S. involvement in Libya. This morning, appearing before the House Armed Services Committee, and this afternoon, the Senate Armed Services Committee. Associated Press writing that the defense leaders said that the U.S. should avoid developing a closer relationship with Libyan opposition forces, telling Congress that foreign nations must now take over airstrike responsibilities in any effort to train and equip the rebels. Defense Secretary Gates said he's opposed to arming the rebels, a step uh, his boss, President Obama, has not ruled out. Uh, the U.S has turned over control of the military operations to NATO today, just hours before Secretary Gates and Admiral Mullen addressed Congress. You can see the House Armed Services Committee hearing after the Senate is out tonight here on C-SPAN 2 or right now at cspan.org.
Thank you. 
Mr. President? The majority leader. Mr. Unanimous consent to call the quorum be terminated? Without objection. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, April 5th, the Senate proceed to the consideration of Cal number 16, H.R. 4. The only amendment in order to the bill be an amendment to be offered by Senator Menendez. There be up to 60 minutes debate equally divided between the two leaders or the designees prior to vote in relation to the Menendez amendment. That the amendment not be divisible and no amendments be in order to the amendment prior to vote that upon disposition of the amendment, the bill be read a third time and the Senate proceed to vote on passage of the bill as amended. If amended, that the amendment on the bill be subject to a 60 vote threshold, that the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid on the table with no intervening action or debate. Without objection, so order. Okay. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent this, on Monday, April 4th, 2011, at 4.30 p.m., the Senate proceed to executive session to consider calendar number 42. That there be an hour for debate, equally divided in the usual form, but upon the use reeling back of the time, the Senate proceed to vote with no intervening action or debate on calendar number 42. The motion to reconsider be considered made and laid on the table with no intervening action or debate. No further motions be in order. Any related statements be printed on the record that the President be immediately notified of the Senate's action and the Senate then resume legislative session. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. President, I ask you announce consent that the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration on block the following resolutions which were submitted earlier today. S. Res 120, 121, 122, and 123. With, without objection, the Senate will proceed on bond. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I ask consent the resolutions be agreed to, the mo preambles be agreed to. The, the, I ask unanimous consent the resolution be agreed to, the preambles be agreed to, the motions to reconsider be laid on the table and block, with no intervening action or debate, and that any statements related to this these matters be printed in the record at the appropriate place as if read. Without objection, so order. There are two bills at the desk due for their first reading, Mr. President. The clerk will report. S-706, a bill to stimulate the economy, produce domestic energy, and create jobs at no cost to the taxpayers and without borrowing money from foreign governments for which our children and grandchildren will be responsible and for other purposes. H.R. 471, an act to reauthorize the D.C. Opportunity Scholarship Program and for other purposes. Ms. President, I ask for the second reading of these two matters on block, but I object to my own request. The objection is the bills will be heard, will be read on the next, se le next legislative day. Ms. President, I ask unanimous consent that when the Senate completes its business day, it adjourn until 2 p.m. on Monday, April 4th. Following the prayer and the pledge journal proceedings to be approved to date, the morning hour be deemed expired, the time for the two leaders be reserved for the use later in the day, and the Senate proceed to morning business until 4.30 p.m. The Senators permit to speak for up to 10 minutes each. I further ask that following morning business, the Senate proceed to executive session under the previous order. Without objection. Senators should expect the first roll call vote at 5.30 p.m. on Monday. That vote will be in confirmation of Executive Calendar Number 42, Jimmy V. Reyna of Maryland, to be a United States Circuit Judge. Additionally, we're able to reach an agreement tonight to vote in relation to H.R. 1099. Uh, the Senators should be should expect two roll call votes on Tuesday prior to the caucus meetings. If there's no further business to come before the Senate, I ask to adjourn on the previous order. The Senate will stand adjourned until 2 p.m. on Monday, April 4. Today in the Senate, members continued debate on a small business.